Hello, my name is Hisham Ibrahim. I'm one of the emergency medicine consultants in United Kingdom, and it's my pleasure to be with you here. So in this video, um, I'll try to answer all the questions I've received from you guys about the Emergency Physicians ECG course. You've asked me about a lot about the history of this course, who the course is targeting, and um, is it suitable for a category over the other, uh, what sort of things are covered, what different formats are there. I'll answer all of this in this short video. So without any further ado, let's move on. So I guess the first thing to be aware of is a, a bit about me, if you're going to spend your time with me. So um, as I said, I'm an emergency medicine consultant. I currently work in United Kingdom. Uh, I've been practicing medicine for uh, 20 years now. I've uh, got a lot of experience in emergency cardiology and in medical education because that's my special interest. So over the years, I've developed the experience, I've been reading a lot about it, I've been teaching a lot, and I put together all what I've learned into different courses that I hope that you will find uh, helpful. I've got so many different rules, I've, I've covered a lot over the last uh, 20 years, so I'm not going to waste your time talking through this. You can have a look if you're interested, but I guess that's enough about this section. Let's move on towards what we're going to cover in this talk. We're going to talk about the history of the EPIC course, we're going to talk about why do we think that EPIC is a unique course, we're going to talk about the target audience, the different formats of the course, the structure of the course, and the learning management system that we use to deliver the course uh, for the virtual one. Uh, we're going to talk about the accreditation of the course and the certificate that you're going to get at the end. So um, this course started in 2016. So it's uh, when we're recording this video now. So it's about nine years now uh, with this course uh, up and running. And over the years, as you can see in the graph, the number of candidates significantly increased. The course was given so far over 35 times in physically in six different countries uh, over the past nine years. And uh, there are over 2000 epicas now uh, from over a hundred different institutions. So that's a massive achievement that happened over the past few years. In terms of why we think that the EPIC course is a unique course, there are so many different reasons for that. And let's start with what I think is the strongest point, it is the clinical relevance. So I believe that no matter how good you are as an instructor or a speaker, uh, and, and, and no matter how interesting the topic is, as long as the topic is not relevant to the candidates, they will not get engaged with you if you speak. Uh, this course is very clinically relevant. It's designed based upon real life stories to ensure that you're going to um, absorb as much as possible to ensure the clinical relevance and to ensure the maximum engagement while teaching. So what happens is while you're going through the day, you will feel that you're actually working in your department, seeing these patients. And I always get that feedback after each course. They, they, the candidates always say to me at the end, um, we've applied what we've learned the next morning in our next shift. And I think that is one of the most uh, uh, strong points that makes this course uh, different. It does not cover the ECG from the dry scientific side of thing. It covers it from the clinical uh, perspective. So over the course, we're going to cover over 350 uh, uh, different ECGs, all based upon real life stories. Um, and, uh, and that is uh, another strong point there. Uh, there will be links to the latest literature covering the different topics that we're going to cover uh, while discussing the ECGs. And uh, there will be over 75 um, interactive live questions uh, in the virtual uh, live virtual day and in the face to face one. We use a high fidelity learning management system and we're going to cover this in the next minute. And uh, in terms of the accreditation of the course, the course is accredited and uh, you will receive a unique certificate with a unique um, uh, serial number uh, once you complete your course. And again, we're going to cover that in a minute. Next up is the target audience. So um, this course is an advanced uh, ECG interpretation course, just to make it clear. The basics are not really covered uh, uh, deeply in that, in that course, and it covers the ECG from the emergency medicine side of things. So 
the it, it's designed for emergency physicians but over the years uh, I've had candidates from different specialities that they've, they've really enjoyed the course and found it relevant to them as well so that that's like the acute physicians the internal physicians critical care uh, uh, medicine clinicians and anesthesiologists and of course cardiologists uh, and as I said uh, it's designed for senior clinicians, so doctors and, and advanced clinical practitioners. Uh, but again, over the years, I've had senior paramedics and senior nurses, especially in CCU and outreach nurses, and they said to me that they found it really relevant and really interesting and useful. So I've expanded a bit the target audience in this part, uh, but as I said in the beginning, the course is designed for emergency physicians. There are three different formats of the EPIC course. There is the uh, EPIC Live virtual one, uh, there is the face-to-face -face one, and there is a recorded version as well. Let's talk about the uh, EPIC Live virtual structure. So basically what we use in this course is the blended learning technique. So there will be a mixture of uh, uh, live teaching uh, that happens uh, on the live day, but there is also um, a mix of uh, pre-course uh, learning and um, after course learning. So these are the three stages of the course. So the pre-course preparation modules will cover some topics like the basic acute coronary syndrome, the syncope, the arrhythmias, the pulmonary embolism and the low voltage ECG. Then you join the live day. So that will be covering the advanced acute coronary syndrome, the advanced arrhythmias, non-cardiac causes of ECG changes and advanced syncope and lastly the mimics in ECGs and then once you've done your interactive full day course you will have your certificates and then you will have an access to the recording of the course and that will be available for you for a month. So this is the structure of the live virtual course. So again talking about the structure of the day just uh, from a different angle so I'm not going to waste your time reading through this you feel free to pause and uh, have a look yourself but this is the pre-course preparation uh, plan the different topics covered with the number of videos number of minutes uh, to cover it and number of ECGs covered and then that's your interactive day so that is the program uh, of the day uh, and that is uh, again covering uh, uh, the number of ECGs covered, the questions that you're going to get on the day, the number of minutes per talk, so all sorts of different information that you'll need um, to know about the actual day. And uh, once you're done with that day, you will get the bonus at the end, which is the access to the recorded material for a month to consolidate your learning and to make sure that you haven't missed anything there. The learning management system that we use is a high fidelity learning management system. So when you go there, you will find that you will have on the right, on the left hand side, as you can see here, you've got the uh, different activities uh, with, a, um, with a bar that tells you your achievement in percent. So how much have you achieved so far? Uh, the learning management system provides you with a lot of interaction, so you will have interactive questions, you will have the ability to create discussions and to go through different things and to interact directly with me, uh, and that is away from the live uh, day. So there is a lot to get out of the LMS and I would suggest you use it to the maximum. Moving on to the accreditation part, so the course, uh, the live virtual one is accredited by the Federation of Royal College of Physicians in the United Kingdom for eight CPDs and uh, the course is also recommended uh, by the clinical educators in many different uh, hospitals across, across the whole world. Um, I've just highlighted here the ones that, I, uh, that they've received the most out of the course and they've got the highest number of candidates that are trained by the course. So that is the Hull, uh, Hull University Hospital uh, in United Kingdom, Hampshire Hospitals, University Hospital in Dorset and in Bank Al-Ahli Hospital in Egypt. Uh, and the course is also recommended by the Sri Lankan College of Emergency Medicine to all the trainees. So this is an example of a certificate that you're going to get. And if you look there, you will find that you'll get your uh, unique number there that is uh, attached to a QR code and a verifiable link that you can share. So when you click on that link, you will get the same certificate with your number. So this is to ensure that the certificate is original and uh, it is not a fake one. So this is what you can share in your job applications and uh, you can share on your social media. 
this was it about the live virtual version so let's quickly go through the recorded version of the epic course basically the contents are the same as the live virtual one the main difference is you can do this one on your own pace you'll have one of two options you can subscribe over three months or over six months and it just gives you the flexibility to do this on your own time in your own at your own pace do it the way you like um, and at the end you're going to get a certificate that is coming from the from zero to hero in medical education academy finally we've got the face-to-face -face one and uh, again in terms of the content it's exactly the same uh, the main difference is actually the accreditation and the certification so what i do is i provide the face-to-face -face one uh, mainly as a pre-conference or a post-conference event in uh, different international conferences and uh, when it comes to the accreditation of these uh, of these courses uh, they vary depending upon which country we're giving the course in and um, what sort of accreditation is available there so that's the main difference uh, between the face-to-face -face one and the other formats but the everything else is exactly the same anything else that we haven't covered well just one more thing that we are so proud of before we talk about the dates and then we bring this video to a closure. Basically, we've received feedback from uh, some of our candidates that they've used the EPIC course to apply for emergency medicine training in UK and the course was accepted with the highest possible ranking for the category of uh, uh, courses supporting the speciality applications. So basically, the EPIC course will support your application to join the emergency medicine training in the United Kingdom. We are so proud of this achievement. We now come to the final part of this video, which is about how to join us. So there are multiple dates across the year. Uh, currently, the live virtual one, we do it four times a year, and this will be the plan for uh, uh, the near future, unless something happens. Um, and, and basically, because we are usually oversubscribed, we've created a way to ensure um, uh, the fairness of the application process. So there is a show interest uh, um, application that you need to sign into. Once your name is there, you will be guaranteed the priority to join the date that you want. And uh, once the date is open, you will get the um, you will get your guaranteed seat. And uh, if you have not applied via the show interest one, then what will happen is if there are available seats after those who are guaranteed their seats are sorted, then you will be allowed to join. Uh, if not, then unfortunately you will need to wait for the next date. Uh, yeah, so unfortunately that would be the only way that we could find to make the application process fair. And uh, for further information about all what we've talked about and for further information about how to join, feel free to visit our website. Uh, the link is on your screen now and uh, it will give you all what we've covered and what we have not covered in uh, relation to this matter.